Salvete de Scipuli. Today's uh, video is um, the first lesson in Chapter 7 <clears throat> in Latin for the New Millennium, Volume 2. Um, and we're going to learn the first of a few um, irregular verbs, okay? So the first three verbs that we're going to learn are related to each other. Um, there's wolo, which means I wish. Nolo, which means I don't wish. And malo, which actually means I wish more, but... We usually translate it in English to mean I prefer, okay? All right, wolo and its compounds nolo and malo do not have passive forms, okay? You will only learn active forms for these three verbs. Um, the only irregular forms that they really have are the present indicative and the present subjunctive, okay? So the perfect is completely regular as it is with all verbs, right? Um, there's no perfect passive, obviously, because there's no passive forms. Um, but everything else is actually going to form the way that you essentially expect. Their um, present infinitives look a little bit odd, um, and we'll talk about why when I flip the slide and you can see what Wolo's present infinitive is. Um, but basically what you should know is that this is a somewhat irregular third conjugation verb, okay? <clears throat> so it's going to form its you know, imperfect indicative and its in per, and its future indicative, um, following the rules of the third conjugation. Okay, um, it's going to be wole bomb. I was want. I was wishing. Okay, wolam. I will wish. Okay, the imperfect subjunctive forms, um, according to what rule you know, which it is the second principal part, the present active infinitive plus the ending. So even though the infinitive looks a little bit weird. It, it, it still is the basis for the imperfect subjunctive, okay? Um, there's only one participle, um, and that's the present active participle, and since you haven't learned present active participles yet, don't really worry about it. Um, wolo and malo do not have imperatives, but nolo does, and as a matter of fact, you know the imperative for nolo because you've been using it for a while now to do negative commands, right? Noli or nolite plus the infinitive. Okay, so, wolo is wolo, wele, wolowe. So what essentially has happened here is that the second principal part would be welere, which was just awkward for the Romans to say. So it became a somewhat abbreviated form, which was just wele. Um, so just to remind you, to form the imperfect subjunctive is going to be wele, plus the endings, mst, mustis, nt, and um, arvis ter, mermini, and ter. Okay, so that's going to be forming the exact same way you know it to form. The present indicative is a little bit odd, okay? Um, you'll see it's wolo, wies, wolt, wallumus, woltus, wallunt. And again, I know that those look a little bit weird. We expect this to be, uh, since it's a third conjugation, we expect there to be an I, right, in the forms, but it's not there. Instead of, say, wit or, or wolit or something like that, we have wolt. We have a you in the first person plural, um, so on and so forth. So I know it looks a little bit odd, but that is what the, the present active indicative is. The present active subjunctive um, follows the general conjugation of the subjunctive of, of, of sum, right? So sim, si, sit, sima, si, 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 Here it's wellem, willis, willit, willimus, willitus, willimt, okay? Now, nolo, again, having that irregular second principal part, nole, um, is also going to form somewhat uh, irregularly. Notice that um, some of the forms are going to be just known wolo, or you know what I mean, known wies, known wolt. It's just to wish with not in front of it. But three of them in the present indicative actually are a combined nolo, okay? So... The present active indicative, nolo, non wies, non wolt, no lumis, non woltus, no lunt. Okay. And then again, <clears throat> in the um, in the uh, present active subjunctive, um, it follows the general or the, or the the conjugation, the subjunctive conjugation of sum, right? Sem si sit sim si sent. Here we have no lem, no lis, no let, no limis, no litus, no lent. Okay. Um, and malo is going to be much of the same, um, except for with the ma. In front of it, okay. So malo, mawis, mawolt, malumus, mawoltus, malunt, okay. And then again, uh, 
Malim, Melise, Malet, Malimus, Melitos, Malent. Okay. All right, that's it. You just have to learn these irregular forms. Like I said, the rest um, of the tenses and voices, and or excuse me, tenses and moods, just active voice, um, are going to be pretty much what you expect them to be. Um, it's just the present, indicative and subjunctive, that you have to pay attention to. Um, so take good notes. I will check them in class, and I hope you have a lovely evening. Uh, bon appétit.